Hello, my name is Claudia Garcia Rojas and I am in New York with Gozamos at the Latin Alternative Music Conference and I'm speaking with Yael Meyer. How are you doing? Good, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, no problem. I want to talk to you a little bit about your new album, Everything Will Be Right. Um, and it's sort of been getting all of these rave reviews from everything from Jerusalem Post to Chile's Rolling Stone. So tell me a little bit about it. Uh, well, the album... Uh, we, we recently released it about six months ago okay. and uh, there's 11 songs in it and uh, I'm, it's pretty much all, all written by me and uh, produced by Bill Leffler who is an amazing producer out of Los Angeles and he's worked with really great people like uh, Death Word Confessional and Gym Class Heroes and very lucky to work with him. So that's our newest and latest release and that's the music we're sharing right now. Okay. Fabulous. And do you play any of the instruments that get produced into the music or or do you write any of the lyrics particularly? Yes. Yeah. So I play a bunch of different instruments. Okay. Live I usually play guitar, ukulele, sometimes a little bit of keyboards and piano. And in the studio I, I get to play a lot more. Okay. Uh, I don't I'm not a virtuoso in any of them, but I okay. like to play with them. So anything that makes noise, I play. So I play some bass, I play some glockenspiel, a bunch of percussion stuff, and a lot of different toys in the studio, yeah. It's okay. really fun. <laughs> How, what's like the process for you between writing lyrics and writing music? I think the music generally comes a lot easier to me. Okay. Uh, a lot of the times, music and lyrics comes together. And w w it, the best songs for me are when they come together at once where mm -hmm. the whole song comes to me uh, lyrics music melody mm -hmm. together at once but sometimes I get a melody idea or I get some lyrics that don't necessarily make sense and I have to spend a lot of time working on the lyrics and the lyrics are very important to me because I, I really want to speak truth and it's very okay. difficult to sit down sometimes and face w yourself and right. see what is it that I'm really feeling and what is it that I really want to say so it's right. kind of like a, not an excruciating process sometimes but mm -hmm. in the end I think it's worth the suffering <laughs> yeah okay and so I want to ask you a little bit about the truths that you are mentioning uh -huh. so what are some of the truths in the world that you sort of are writing about right now uh, you know I, when I, I said truth, I meant whatever is true inside of me. Yeah. Like, I try not to make up stuff, but, like, right. actually speak whatever is, is truly happening. Um, but it, I try also to talk about things that are universal and that affect everybody. So okay. uh, I write about love. I write about friendship. I write about fear. I write about um, life, the challenges of life, of being alive, of, of, of self-doubt, of, okay. of pursuing things that you believe in. And uh, I think those are all kind of universal values. We all love and we all fear, and that's kind of the challenge of being alive, I, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, I like the way you put it. Um, I think that that's, it, it hits the nail on that. If there's one song on this album that is sort of your philosophy for life, what song would that be? <sighs> it's very difficult for me to pinpoint because I feel that all the songs kind of, kind of together t weave a story yeah. uh, but uh, one that is very personal to me is called Shed Their Fear and, and it talks about how oftentimes people try to throw their fear at you and it kind of sticks on you okay. and uh, and kind of our job is to is to not pay attention to that and to remember what we, who we truly are and what we truly feel and try to listen to the little voice inside that is always guiding us and yeah. and sort of have like a, a little bit of butter skin and let mm. all the other schmutz that it's just other people's fear just slide through and not get to us and kind of derail us from our purpose yeah that's great um, can we let's let's change directions a little bit in, in terms of like the questions and I want to ask you um, are you touring at all anytime soon or yes yeah. I have been touring a bunch actually okay. um, now we're gonna slow down a little bit we were in Chile for two months okay. we played Lollapalooza there we did, did a lot of, of shows in Chile and then we came back and we toured the East Coast and we went okay. to Washington and Philadelphia and New York and West Virginia and we did a bunch of, of shows so Right now we're kind of 
just slowing down a little bit the touring, but I'm going to be playing a show, a couple of shows in um, in the West Coast in the in the next coming months. Okay, nice. And I want to ask you, where do you shop? Because I really like what you have on right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep Thank just looking you. at it. And I'm like, okay, I need to ask. I you. am literally right now a walking poster for Forever 21 because I think almost everything that I'm wearing except for the boots are from Forever 21. Well, the boots are really kick ass too. <laughs> Thank I <like> you. Those. <laughs> but everything else, I like your style. Do you Thanks. sort of put everything together? Yeah, you know, I'm really, honestly, very bad at shopping. I don't like it, and it's very difficult for me to do it. I usually go, and I walk out, and I don't buy anything. Uh, and this time, I was, I went with my husband, and he, the poor man had to just be there with me and, like, go through it. But uh, I, I made, it like, a commitment to myself that I was going to buy something because it yeah. just it had to happen. And I think what I did that worked was that I didn't walk into the... Um, into the fitting room with things that I liked, but okay. I walked in with outfits, like okay. things that went together. So I tried on outfits, so it made it easier to to say I like it because I saw the whole thing put together yeah. instead of like the jacket or the pants separately and then uh, you can't imagine what it's going to look with other things and I, for me that makes it difficult. So, <laughs> so the music <laughs> writing is a much easier process than the shopping experience. It's just, you know, some people enjoy it. Some people right. enjoy shopping and they have lots of shoes and stuff and I am unfortunately not, not one of them. So, okay. <laughs> what are some of the things that you've been enjoying while you're in New York? Um... Well, we were here for a long time, so that okay. we enjoyed a lot of stuff. Now I'm just here for a couple of days, so I haven't really been able to enjoy New York so much because I'm yeah. really enjoying the conference right now, just okay. being here and meeting people and kind of, I've never been part of this conference before, so it's a really great experience to like yeah. know that this is happening and, and to see what's kind of cooking in the Latin world, you know, yeah. which is like so dear to my heart and such a big part of who I am, so yeah. it's awesome. So speaking about the Latin world and artists there, do you have any, um, particularly like speaking about female artists, any any of them that you really look up to? Female artists in the Latin market? Yeah. Um, I think that there's a lot of artists that I look up to for various different reasons. Okay. Um, I think that a lot of our, like for example, Shakira was somebody that I grew up listening to when I was a little girl, you know, okay. when she came out, out with her first album. And it's it's fun to be able to watch her evolve into like where she came from and, and how she got to where she is, which is like incredible, you know, that she's been able yeah. to accomplish a lot. But there's also a lot of, uh, a lot of Chilean artists actually, a lot of Chilean singer-songwriters that mm -hmm. are, are my friends and that I really admire and I really appreciate. Uh, there's a, a Chilean band called Mama Soul. Okay. And um, another friend of mine, her name is Carolina Nissen and she's making very beautiful music. And so a lot of people, of, 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 artists that most people maybe haven't heard about but that I think are Anita did you you know who's like doing so well and um, yeah Great. a lot of female female power out there yeah that's wonderful to know and to, to also just be able to encounter like yourself <laughs> thank you to talk with you um, so where can people hear your music and where can they sort of read more about you people? so my music is available on iTunes everywhere um, okay iTunes in the States, iTunes Mexico, and there's a new iTunes store, I think, opening for like all of South America, and it's going to be available there too. And also, people can just come to my website, which is okay. yaelmusic.com. Okay. That's Y-A-E-L music.com. And all my social media is there, Facebook, Twitter. I invite people to come and, and follow me on Twitter, and, and Facebook is the fit, best way to keep a conversation going and, 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 and share the, the new stuff. We're coming out with a new video, and uh, but all my music is available to listen for free on my website, so I invite everybody to just come visit. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. No problem.